Love of Fall, a sonnet by Trent Lenkarski. That's me. My favorite season is known as fall, a time of decay and change and reflection. For those reasons, I enjoy it most of all, a shift to cold, bolstering concentration. A year of leaves turn from green to brown, as friendships and romances both fade and swell, reminders of times past which lead one to frown, relations once lovely, now worse than hell. A sharp change happens in almost no time, but I suppose that's part of the beauty. Warm sunsets and frigid mornings combine. Changed weather now, a reason to be moody. I hope I am not alone in feeling fond, and that we may all love autumn in bond. To Fall by Frank When most people think of what to fall means, they picture bruised knees, scraped skin, broken bones, and the like. But that has never been my experience. To fall means crisp, cool air and crunchy leaves cascading down to earth, piled neatly together for the sole purpose of being destroyed in one simple dive. To fall means warm cider and cozy sweaters, huddled around a fire at 1 a.m. with your closest friends. To fall means ghost stories, Ouija boards, and seances that tinge in your gut when you hear a creak you didn't expect and nights that are deafeningly dark. To fall means hay rides and pumpkins, cider donuts and flannel shirts, and jack-o'-lanterns on every stoop. To fall means candy and costumes, tricks and treats, and trying to trade those terrible raisin candies for anything else. To fall means warm apple pie, sweet pumpkin pie, and savory pecan pie. And some other foods too, but mostly pie. To fall means peace and tranquility. It means horror and fright. It means wearing your favorite pair of jeans. It means wearing vampire fangs and long capes. To fall means to be caught. Caught in a moment. A feeling. An experience. Caught in something you can't quite articulate, but you try to anyway. Uneasy is the Head by Isabel J. Outside my door, the yellow browning begonias dip their heads to the fragrant soil, cupping one wet with dew, heavy as a freshly washed head of cabbage. I can't repress a smile at the small death as it crumbles to the ground. Summer is failing, but we are living, still in a chimerical fusion of seasons, as it refuses to give up the ghost, the grinning tyrant with its foot against my neck. While autumn watches, rocking slowly, a pipe smoking in the crook of its mouth, As Autumn Sets In by Zachary As autumn sets in, so comes a time for rest, and with rest comes reflection, and with reflection comes regret. But this year it will be different. Instead of regret, I'll pursue kindness. When it comes time to slow down and breathe, I'll look at my memories lovingly, the same way I'll look at the falling leaves. But this year it will be different. Instead of what's behind, I'll pursue the moment now. And with presence comes empathy. With empathy comes care. As autumn sets in, so comes a time for care. Halloween is Cool, a non-scary poem by Holly Hargreaves. Halloween has never meant anything to me. Why? Because I'm Australian, you see. We don't do trick or treat, we just watch from afar and think, that looks neat. That was until the October I went to New York, and saw the streets filled with pumpkins and the air full of anticipation, for a day that was now more than just talk. I went to a party with goblins, witches, and Deadpool. 
and met him, an American dude who was funny and cool. We hung out all night, along with his brother and my friend, roaming the streets of New York, having a night I didn't want to end. But now I'm back in Oz, and Halloween is coming up. No pumpkins or parties for me. I'll look back on my time and always remember, Halloween is as cool as can be.